peer-to-peer -peer symbols. We use peer-to-peer -peer symbols to link two parent symbols together. A lot of examples you see out there will link a schematic drawing to a fluid power drawing, whether it's pneumatic, hydraulic, P and ID. And sometimes, in a lot of cases, what the tag that you put on the symbol on the schematic drawing might be different than what you use on a fluid power drum. And that's the first thing we're going to point out here. I've got this motor, and if we just take some mental notes, it's got a tag of MOT212, hydraulic motor. This is the same component that it's tied to, except in this drawing, <clears throat> it has a different tag of PMP1. Now, having said that, I'm going to edit this component, and I'm going to go to the schematic tag, uh, command for the tag itself. And I want to link this to that MOT212. which is right here. So I copy the tag. And my option one is to overwrite the PMP. So I'm going to say tag one. It'll still carry over any information that is on the equivalent schematic symbol, as you can see here. I'm going to pick OK. And if I right click on this and go to surfer right now you can see that the two parents literally are linked together if i were to change something on one or the other like i'll make this hydraulic oil pump oh, and i pick ok just like any other parent-child relationship you have in AutoCAD Electrical when you edit a parent symbol and there's child symbols in other drawings, it's going to ask you to update those right away. And you can pick OK, Task. Don't pick Skip too often. And there was a separate symbol for it on Sheet 1 there as well. But now if I go back to... Here, you can see that those are literally linked together. I can see it in the surfer. I can see it when I edit, in this case, the other drawing, which is, again, a parent symbol on the hydraulic drawing. Another example, you know, real good example, you got a PLC drawing. You got a bunch of solenoids going to your module. And I'm going to concentrate on this one right here, Machine SOL 724. And as you can see right here, no description, no catalog data. Got a location code. The solenoid is on this valve <clears throat> when it's shown in a fluid power drawing. That's what this VAL7 is. Now, sometimes with a peer-to-peer, parent-to-parent, as I like to call it, you might want a separate tag like this is. The VAL7 is the same as that SOL you know, 724. In the previous example, I just overwrote the tag and put the same tag on both components, but you could also choose to show an alternate tag. So this time, I'll take a look at, or I'll grab the SOL. Seven twenty-four. 
724. The only thing that's going to fill in here is the location code. I'm going to copy the tag. And this time, instead of overwriting, I'm going to use an alternate one. And I'll pick OK here. OK to update. So now it not only displays the tag VAL7, but it also displays the same tag that's on the schematic drawing. And once again, <clears throat> if I go to the surfer command, you can see that these are linked together. And if I do edit, you know, let's say I just call this clamp cylinder. And I pick OK. Once again, it's going to ask me to update other drawings. And now if I go back to here, you know, you can see that this symbol is linked via two parent symbols together with the peer-to-peer -peer relationship. The 15 dash here is just letting me know it's the cross-reference for the sheet number. And it gives me all the information from the valve itself. Now, I mean, that's how peer-to-peer -peer relationships work. How do you get there, though? What's so magical about these symbols than, you know, the typical NFPA library? Well, if I just copy one of these, I'm going to do an AutoCAD copy. Throw it out in the middle of nowhere. <clears throat> and if I explode it, what's required for the ability to use peer-to-peer um, -peer relationships are two attributes. The WD tag alt, that's what allowed me to show an alternate tag along with the original one. And then the WD type, this is normally invisible. Those are the two attributes that you must have in order to make a symbol peer-to-peer -peer eligible. You're not going to see, besides all the all the pneumatic symbols, hydraulic symbols, PID symbols, one line symbols, same concept. They all come out of the box. So if anybody's doing one lines out there, all of these symbols are equipped with those attributes as well to use them from a peer to peer standpoint. But you're not going to see these in other symbols out of the NFPA library, like if I were to insert, you know, who knows, who cares, a push button on here. And I can explode it or just double click on it. <clears throat> you can see here, there's no WD tag alt, there's no WD type. Now, that doesn't mean, you know, especially if you have your own custom library, that you can't take any of the symbols out of the box. You know, if I wanted the ability to have this to have a peer-to-peer -peer option, you know, I can explode it, immediately add those attributes, and then go to the symbol builder command and save it as my own custom symbol if, again, you wanted the option to use the peer-to-peer -peer functionality out of the typical schematic symbols that are out of the box. It's all about the WDT tag in the WD type. No different. You know, on this one right here, this 
There's your WD tag. There's your WDT. Now, on a symbol like this one, all it has is the WD tag. When I'm creating a symbol for peer-to-peer, -peer, I just didn't include both automatically. That way you don't have to worry about anything missing. Always have the WD type and the WD tag alt attributes. Whenever you create a custom symbol that you want to have the ability to go peer-to-peer -peer on. Just add them. And if you are in your symbol builder, you know, if you're creating a symbol from scratch and you're in your symbol builder, you know, when you choose the different categories, not all of them will have those attributes available. If you choose generic, they will be available. So what I mean by that is, Just going to throw something up here. If I go to my symbol builder, so if you're creating your own custom symbol and you want the ability to make it peer to peer compliant, if you will. You know, some of these categories will have those attributes available, but some will not. If you choose generic, they're always going to show up as attributes that you can incorporate into the symbol. So those are peer-to-peer -peer symbols. And again, what makes them peer-to-peer -peer <clears throat> are the attributes that are built inside the symbol. So, you know, it, it doesn't have to be just about one-line diagrams or communicating between a schematic and fluid power drawing. You can build those attributes into any symbol you want.